this time let's take a closer look at Drennan Specialist Rowing Bag. I have to admit that this bag is very smart and it has very smart features. So let's start with the exterior. It has very quality shoulder strap, which is actually quite, quite wide and very, very high quality. Also, it has padded like a shoulder bit, which actually you can put on your shoulder and you won't feel the bag as much. It's quite well padded and it, and it has some logo saying Drennan Specialist on it as well. And it's also uh, adjustable. Also, it has little small carrying handle just taking out of the car. Then on the back we have also quite well padded area. So when the bag is full or heavy, so you wouldn't feel the things which are in the bag. Also the back area of the bag is not like symmetrical, it's shaped uh, so it would be nicer to carry and would be more comfortable. Then on the sides we have two meshed pockets which are elasticated and they are quite generous in size. Then the bottom is, as you can see, a little bit muddy because I have been using this bag for a while. But it's still survived quite well and it's made from like rubberized material which is waterproof and very sturdy and very strong. Then at the front we have smaller pocket here which is zippable and it's quite quite large as well. I have to say that the zippers are very very good quality and very big ones so it's very very easy to grab them and uh, they are rubberized as well so it's very comfortable. Then we have two clips which can be used to attach Drennan Specialist uh, on hooking mat. I also have that mat and it actually hooks onto these two clips very well and it's very comfortable. Now, uh, also we have one pocket here. This pocket is very good for your wallet or car keys or road licenses, things like that. Just the ones which you want to access very quickly, like wallet or your license or your car keys or something like that. And it's quite concealed as well. Uh, also we have two clips here. This area can be used to put your jacket on, waterproof jacket maybe or something like that. So you would be able to use it if the rain would start. Uh, then we have one pocket here. Which is actually lined with uh, foil so it can be used as a cool bag and it actually was designed to be used as a cool bag. Then we have a main com compartment which is actually pretty decent size. I would say it's it's good 25 centimeters in depth and also good 30 centimeters in length and also probably 15 centimeters in width as well, so it's quite quite decent size. I quite often like to put my camera in it because it's quite quite well padded, so so the camera here can be protected and uh, the material itself is uh, not fully waterproof. The seams are not waterproof, but still it prevents from some light rain or heavy rain ex to be exposed in shorter periods of time. So yeah, this bag is very, very smart. 
and I would suggest uh, lure to use this bag for lure anglers or just uh, not only anglers who are roving for barbell or chub, but lure anglers in particular should like this bag very much. I use it for my lure fishing quite often and it's, and it's working very, very well. In my opinion, only disadvantage about this bag is that this pocket he has only one zipper, so if you want to undo it, you can't do it very easy. You have to like hold around the corners and the thing is that if you want to access the contents of this pocket you want to you will have to undo all zip so it means that as the corners are quite pronounced it's it's not very easy to do if if it would have like two zippers it would be much easier in my opinion to do that and and the same applies to the main compartment as well which has on only one zipper but other than that I'm pretty sure that this bag will last me quite a long time it's lasting already about a year or so uh, and it will last quite a few more I guess that's it for today thanks for watching and see you in the next one